Fury, but I wonder how much, uh, how many of those predictions were based on making. I say that still 70 seconds, one v two, but entering this crossfire on this site. Falcons should have it on lockdown. Yeah, I mean, if there is going to be one player probably on Fury, it is BG, man, over a 1.15 rating. Makes him a very solid individual option for Fury. One versus two, difficult, but has just under 60 seconds. So time aplenty on his side. A couple of drones as well still to maybe put, try and play off of. But one gas paper available for P9. And that drone, very much going to get at least something from it. Ironically, against the Solars, he gets the information. A peak shot, probably not. He has one flash to play off. Can that create perhaps a pocket of opportunity here for himself and Dark to combine? 20 seconds, P9 to fall on the vert. Dark though will need to scamper towards the staircase, get himself in a playmaking position. 10 seconds now remains, I9 to push forward. Dark has a smoke, the F not mine though, to project his position to the defense. I9 vaults, another F not mine as his teammate falls. He has to stick the plant, it should be denied. He gets the Falcons have already gained through the opening three rounds. They do the world score, and they do so emphatically. Fury on the ropes early. I mean, I think at this point, if you're in the Fury camp, you've had enough exposure to what the Falcons are bringing defensively, that it's, I don't think it's really a case of understanding left. what they're doing. It's going to be formulating a response and having, again, the confidence to execute that theory. I think it was sort of leaning into what Lax was mentioning on the desk, right? Where in this kind of meta, you cannot have flew. This is where the attack really started for Fury and then petered out. More utility though, facing towards this position. So Mad Skills, once again, will be able to force the pace of this push. 30 seconds on the clock, can Delta go out, not blind. A bomb has Smoke still stands, just obscuring his vision at the moment. Oh the swing comes Pino. through, plays contact, crit J to trade, a shot in the back of the head. 15 seconds now on the clock, Fury do not have the diffuser in hand as another player will fall. Favorable positions again from the deep. With support down below from the Nitro Cells. Elsewhere, Fury have at least worked single wall, so they may now be able to transition in towards the objective off the back of the dome. Don't flush out some space. The vertical pressure, though, from the Falcons and the Lions of side offered to the defense will make this a challenge. Like Colas almost catches P9 off guard. Now it skills elsewhere. Good for another. The roam clear from Fury is a failure. We'll see if they're, push they're pushing towards site can perhaps be a little bit more successful. The answer to that, a resounding no. BG man, four versus three, advantage of Fury, 30 seconds as Matt Skills is in towards command center, and I think has been able to get himself into a very interesting position here, <laughs> as Lycolas is really between a rock and a hard place or a chassis and a man with a shield. Well, either way, he's dead, and hold that thought. It's a two versus two. 10 seconds on the clock, Mad Skills committed to cross, but unfortunately his cover has been taken down as j -Led falls to I9. One HP. Definitely does feel like Furious cleaned things up a little bit. I9, oh, well, he can't get that battle to be won. Two very quick kills for the Falcons. Opens up site now with 30 seconds remaining. The numbers advantage. Two impacts available for BG, man. I mean, arguably, though, the two best fraggers at the moment for Fury alive and Crit J and BG, man, so you can kind of back them in. Over towards Nano with a diffuser in hand for Mad Skills on the rotate. Crit J watching that entry point. 10 seconds left. Now in the one versus three. It has fallen apart, although technically a 1v1 now against Quibs as P9 and Mad Skills are both on the floor. Time is the friend now of Crit J and Fury. Don't need to peek, just need to hide. And hide he does for the win. By the barest of margins, though, to be fair, and had just enough health to be able to run through that claw and not die. So low. Now looking to play off with some ping information and put that skeleton key to good use through server. O-Kills gets rid of Light Colas. Celebrations short-lived. Falcons just feel like they've got total control of this round. Rhino does have some information though that he's looking to play off of. If he do so, it might just bring oh. the round back. He's unable to convert though. Onto Mad Skills and event. Looking over towards the staircase. There's that Nitro. Nitro elsewhere. I-9. On to P9, back to like Colas on the stairs. We'll see if he can swing and find the kill. A lot of damage done, but no pick found. 20 seconds Careful of the ball, the careful of the ball. He's gone and done it. He's up close now. Like Colas though, hits the headshot, not the body shot though. Onto a, a very low HP Quibs. Down I9 and BG Man, but he does win at least one of those battles. And a one versus one now. Quibs and BG Man both low. 10 seconds and time the biggest factor. Actually playing up above. And it's going to have to be very much careful. 
Good little angle. Knows where the diffuser is. Throws out the impact. Chris has got no time to close this game out 7-5. It's going to take a massive effort from Dark and or I-9. I just don't know if they're going to be in the positions required to make a play. I-9 rotating. Flashes to come through. Dark likely seeing white. Jumps into a mine, which could cost oh him God. his oh life. But he responds goodness. with the kill. They were 1v4. In the smoke, gets the kill. Quips is low. So is I-9, though, and only 20 seconds remaining. Playing off with the red ping information. Could shoot through the wall here. Salty Dallas doesn't get the kill, though. And a quick... The mistakes weren't uh, putting a foot wrong. And uh, by the end of the... Dig elsewhere. So four versus four. BG man not pressured, so he'll hold. A lot of information available on those Valkyrie cameras. Yeah, I mean, technically 4v3 until P9 gets brought back up and will now be permanently 4v3, though, with the elimination of Quibs. PG man very fortunate to stay alive there at the half wall. 45 seconds remaining. Fury starting strong here on Chalet. BG Man full white doesn't turn away. Nice swing from I9 outside Piano yeah, Window. Right. And that is a second as well to follow up down the hallway. Two versus one moment now for Fury. Oh, I thought the Nitro maybe would signify the end of the round, but we'll just extend for a little while longer. 40 seconds. Doesn't have kit. Not much hope. Up close BG with shotgun. Should be a simple swing. Not quite. Well, I mean, Chris just makes the run through there, anticipating someone sitting on the diffuser. And then the black eye as well from the Valkyrie. Barricade standing in his way. Foot height, line of sight as well. Barbed wire. The list continues here of things that are working against this clutch attempt. Time perhaps the only positive here for O'Kills. Yeah, but still quite difficult to rotate from this position. Swapping mag. Contactors drop the diffuser. Very slowly and very quietly, kind of utilizing that time. The clock, of course, that was very much banked up after the very early and aggressive push from Falcons. Time still remained. Something that at least they had on the sides. Nice kill there from O'Kills. Almost got traded, didn't quite come through. Now makes this a little interesting. 30 seconds left in a two versus two. Kit. Very much available to get picked up. Spray through the wall, though. Crit J so strong. 7 and 0 to begin with. O'Kills dropped down on the floor, trying to just blip stuff out on the balcony. Not really in the best of positions. They haven't been able to put pressure on half wall. Double stacked. One watching K9 as well. 30 seconds left. And this. Rita! Well, it's starting to look very bad for the Falcons because 5 9 is now looming. Sorry, 5 0, I should say. Too many nines in this server with P9 and I9. P9, I9. <laughs> 15 seconds to go. Whatever this the hell 5 over. 9 is. <laughs> 10 seconds to go. Although. Funny things have happened. Quiz, uh, Quiz, Quibs makes it away. Gets the knight initially on Quibs. P9 now knocked down. Four versus two for the Falcons. Admittedly, more so three versus two. Obviously, with P9 on the floor. And only 17 seconds. That's the biggest and most important factor. Crick J dropped down. There was a play to his left hand side. Still gets the kill anyway. Probably shouldn't have been able to get that. Quibs a bit slow with the pistol. Two versus one. Plank going down. Seven seconds. Gonna get denied by BG men. No, not so necessarily towards Trophy. One. See that. Montaigne blocking the doorway and good control here for Fury. I like, what, I like what they've been able to achieve so far in this round. 60 seconds to go. Now it's all about just the execution in towards sight. Oh, the wall looking to be opened up. Lycolis able though to survive in the exothermical detonate. Crit J again, big kill. As Quib is looking to hold in this pillar position. I can't deal with the Monty. Overwhelmed. This will fall. Even despite still having that shield up on the warden, he is down. Will Fury be aware of that? And even if so, can they convert? Either way, it's difficult to get Quibs back up. Okay, that was a little bit strange. BG man with a, a very sly vault in. Had the kit. Dark is there, though, for the remonstration. The ping, an I-9. Still hasn't been able to confirm quips, and there's P9 as well on the floor. This is it. We're done. There you go. We're going to go to Border. Fury absolutely decimating Falcons here on Chalet. An incredible level of aggression that both teams throughout the series, whether it be on labs from Falcons or... It's going to be a challenge. Oh, my God. I-9 up close on the barricade. Mad skills in a position to immediately oh, swing and though. respond. Not spotted. But no kills. We'll find his one. Dying phases of the round. Dark with four oh, and that seven. Was so close. Almost got a second, and that would have made things intriguing. 
Unfortunately, though, he does not. I-9 in the 1v3. And Falcons, off the back of a good start, a bit of a cheese strap from the attack. We'll take the opening round. Falcons with the advantage here, deep into the second round with only 20 seconds remaining. Like Holos wants to just get himself in towards sight with that diffuser. And again now, three versus three with J-Lad's demise. But again, time is not on the side for Fury. Need to get the plant down. And where's the help for Lycolas? He looks like a man on an island. Lycolas now through front door. It needs to be perfect here from Fury. Runs into the f not can go for the plant. Is there coverage in place here from the front door? There is. BG man. Helps out, 30 seconds. A little bit of time to play off of this. Lycolas. Just keeping the pressure on now towards site. One sitting down there. Mad skills in towards workshop. One still above though for Fury watching the hatch now. Is Mad skills a P9 again? Really big, impactful kill. That's Kit right in front of BG, man. There's the drop now, so they can play together in terms of BG and Crypt, but they do give up the vert because of it. P9, Mad Skills, good positions here. Inside of the smoke and up close, though. P9 just keeping full control of sight. No real time left for BG, man. It's certainly going to be a 3 nothing start for Falcons. Nice little knife kill for BG, man. Pulls out Bonds, knowing full well that, of course, Top East now in control of Fury. Spots the drone up above. Notice he's in a bit of a predicament. Fury with a semblance of control for what feels like maybe the first time here on border. Okuls will respond and look to try and support line of sight in through break. Spots the head. Doesn't land the shot. If Crit J comes alive, things start to look better for Fury, and that's what we're seeing here in round four. Yeah, that was a, a sentiment that was echoed on the desk as well. Sight. Again, a couple of shots going their way. This time, though, also a couple of shots back from Falcons onto Crit J. Gets him low. Hive launch is still in effect. Nate thrown over towards Quips. He's able to dodge that one. Now takes a little bit of a peek, understanding that Fury has started to just kind of overwhelm this position. That was a strange Nitro so I'm not sure what the information was being played off of. Obviously, the hot player just outside of the outside of the wall. Nice little stand-up kill, though. BG Man opens the account in the fifth round. Crit J again, looking to aggress. The Clash has done absolutely nothing. I don't think Crit J is going to want to move too far too soon. If he does jump in, he's dead. I'm um, not really talking about that entry point, though, but I think at this point, he probably has no choice but to keep the pressure there. 60 seconds left. Others are going to have to do the work, and I think I envision an O-Kill's lurk over towards East Stairs and could have an impact here. He is going so... Without being noticed! Never mind! Talk about timing! I-9 just turned and watched top East just like that. Maybe sensing this is their moment. The blood's in the water and they smell it like sharks circling falcons. Attackers have recovered their diffuser. Yeah, diffuser recovered. O kills. I mean, I'll, I'll give you some plaudits here. You're going for it, son, but my goodness, you've got so much work to be done. Good sprays, pressure onto I-9. But these efforts, surely, are going to... If it wasn't, it was very close to it. And boy, doesn't that just change the... Complexion off this round now in a four versus two and Falcons on the back foot despite the opening kill to begin this eighth round off the back of the timeout. They are once again in disarray. Requiring big assistance from Okils, but he can't get involved. Shot down by I-9. Down to Quibs on the Jackal. He gets tagged up. This is done. 5-3. Fury taking themselves a significant lead towards that we anticipated they would bring to this matchup against Fury. It went missing for a little while here on border, but they brought it back. 40 seconds left, up five, uh, five versus two. Probably not gonna lose it from here. Makes it then four five, and hence why we said earlier for Fury to not get too ahead of themselves. Down to Lycolas and BG, man, in the crunch. Drone immediately catches Lycolas. That's his position, obviously, then known. And this one could end up being flawless. No, denied. BG man gets himself his 10th kill of this particular map. Plant will go dead. Tagged up a little bit. BG man just needs to hold the angle. Doesn't have to peek. Don't need to swing this. Don't need to give, give them anything. Force them to push into you. Certainly still something that Falcons need to do despite the two-player advantage. Attackers. Keep an eye on I-9 as well towards the back, over towards the hallway. Nice little entry there from j -Lad through metal, and that is probably going to unlock the round for them because they've got far more sight control inside of the smoke. Double for BG, man. The Warden very successful. Make that a triple kill. Oh. Can you go anymore? I-9 combines as well. No Warden in play. No. Could be very different here. There's no smokes, so it's okay. <laughs> no smokes, no Warden. No worries. 90 seconds left. Oh, 
Dallas time here for Falcons. And an additional pick to just aid their efforts. Dark up above. Might be good for one if he catches O kills off guard. Oh, oh. He does, but the shots don't oh, quite he... land initially. Full 90 control and that castle barricade you saw really blocking off a lot of that sight line from top east. So 40 seconds then on the clock. A four versus four. Can J Lad find this pick? The prone off angle from I9 pays dividends. 30 seconds and I9's good for two. He certainly is. And Fury might be good for the series win unless Quibs and Mad Skills can just clutch up here in a 2v4 scenario. Not a lot of time. Diffuser in hand. And I9 once again with the reposition and the angle. It's perfect.